In this video, you are going to discover exactly what to take to any and every Comic Con you attend to ensure that you have the best possible time. Hello, hello explorers. This youthful exterior actually houses all of the wise wisdom of a veteran Comic Con attendee. Built up over 20 years worth of attending Comic Cons, I've refined and assembled the most perfect packing list. The number one thing to take to any convention is a good attitude. Everyone's going there for the same reason, to have a good time. If someone looks lost, be unsure what they're doing, go help them out, offer them a friendly face. Just be nice to people, it's really easy. Next up, the items that are basically given are wallet, phone, bank card, cash, ticket to get in. Don't forget any of these. Take a bag with you, backpack, messenger bag, carrier bag. For me, I use a backpack. It's much easier when I'm filming. Messenger bag, although they're very useful, it bumps against my leg when I'm trying to film and it makes the camera all, or even more shaky than it already is. Backpack's great because it's on your back, out the way, but be careful not to bump anyone or to knock over any stands while you're looking around. Messenger bags are actually really good. You can see where your stuff is at all times and it's far less of a faff to access all your stuff whenever you want. When deciding what bag to go for, it's really good to search online for tech bags or survival bags. They normally have really good internal organization and they'll normally have um, a pocket on the outside for a water bottle, a carry handle on the top. The best bags I've used are the Think Geek Bag of Holdings Convention Edition and my current bag, which is by STM. Both are really good bags. They allow me to fit all my stuff in. They're compact, really good internal organization. It's just everything I want in a backpack. Apart from my current one, which I don't actually like the camouflage design, it was just much cheaper to go for this one. Another more obvious item to take is a water bottle. Anything will do. You can just use an empty fizzy pop bottle. Um, I use this chili bottle. It's a bit expensive, maybe it's a bit of a poser bottle, but you can pick whatever colours you want. I had a voucher code, so I got a free name printing, which is blatantly overpriced. It's about £10 extra to print a name on. It's a good size, but it only carries the same amount as a regular fizzy pop bottle. The big benefits are it's hard wearing, so hopefully it won't leak in your bag. Plus, it will keep a cold drink cold on a very hot day, or a hot drink hot. Definitely always take a bottle, and most big conventions will normally have a water fountain so you can keep topping your drink up assuming you like water, which I do. Food and snacks, super straightforward. The lines are really long, it takes ages to get the food, it's expensive, and the taste is only mediocre. Definitely take snacks with you, trail mix, nuts, both good options. And if you can, take a sandwich, make it yourself or pick it up on the way. If I'm making my own sandwiches, I stick them in this reusable zipper bag. The inside is lined, it's waterproof, so it's very easy to clean, and then I'll just pop it into a Tupperware. For snacks, I've been using these silicon stasher pockets. Uh, they're a bit expensive, I think it's about £15 for two, but again, very hard wearing, easy to clean, and a really good size, it fits really easily in your pocket or in a pouch in your bag. Whatever you go for, don't take anything that'll melt, leak, or muck up your bag. If it's a hot day and you haven't got a coat, it's always really useful to have a packable waterproof just in case it rains. Cutlery set's always very useful. I got this set from a camping shop. Basically any cutlery from your kitchen will do. Don't take anything too sharp because it'll get confiscated by security. Always very useful to have with you. It means you can eat anything at any time and also it's good for the environment. What do you think so far? Are there things that I could upgrade? Are there things I could add to my perfect convention gear let me know in the comments below let me know those special items or unique items that you take that you don't think anyone else knows share them below and then everyone will know and we can all have a better convention experience welcome to the year 2022 where we all have super futuristic mobile phones that only seem to stay charged for half a day so i always carry with me a power bank i'm sure you've probably already got one but very useful i use the zendure one at the time it was a really good one it still works really well read some reviews online get a good one for you. Of course, you've got a bag with you, so when you buy stuff, fill it up. But if you run out of room, it's good to have an expandable compartment, and we call that a tote bag. I've got this, so I always carry it with me. Very useful for buying lots of stuff. When I was at the Board Game Expo, people were going to extreme lengths, and they had huge um, hold alls with them, and some people even had trolleys. So I don't know how much you're gonna buy, but very useful to bring enough things with you to transport all of your purchases. Health, hygiene, self-maintenance. Very important to look after yourself. I always carry some paracetamol with me. Good for head repair if you get a headache. Uh, hand wash in this day and age. Very important to keep with you. You don't want to get any of that lurgy. Regular tissues, useful for spillages, blocked noses. And when I was on the way back from Wales Comic Con, uh, there was a lady that was being sick on the train and Although I didn't have a carrier bag to offer her, I did offer her some tissues so she could wipe up her mucky face. Hot sunny day, keep some sun cream with you, you don't want to get sunburnt. And some wet wipes, or in this case antibacterial wipes, 
good for cleaning down gross looking toilet seats or cleaning your hands or wiping down anything you don't want to touch that looks gross. Maintaining your health is important, but also don't forget you're outside Got to look good, so always bring some sunglasses with you to change up your look, keep yourself looking cool all throughout the day. Obviously as well, good for it to really bright and sunny outside. Look after your eyes. A slightly more unusual item I always have with me is a carabiner. Um, very useful for expanding the carrying capabilities of your backpack. You can always hook things onto it, but this one's actually called a hero clip, and this uh, transforms into a hook so you can hook it onto things good for keeping stuff off the ground if it's wet or gross this is the medium one and if i'd realized how big it was i'd have gone for the smaller option it doesn't need to be this big and also if you go for the smaller one it's a bit cheaper i think a lot of backpacks actually have a compartment for tablets or for laptops um, which i don't carry either of those with me but i do like to buy comics and graphic novels if you're buying comics it's always good to buy ones that are bagged and boarded but I also carry a couple of bags and boards with me just so if I buy some floppy comics, I can stick them in here, keep them safe, then I put them in the laptop compartment in my backpack. Bags and boards are also useful for if you buy artwork. If you're really into art, it's probably worth bringing a poster cylinder with you. Keep any art, anything that's large and flat, safe. While we're on protection, photos and autographs are very expensive. So some sort of casing, folder, covering, whatever will keep them safe. Uh, is very important. In this modern world of tablets and phones, you can always take some notes on one of those, but I still carry a notepad with me. You never know when you might need this. Battery's dead, you need someone's number. Write it down, and to do that as well, you'll need a pen. And on the subject of pens, I also have one of these poster pen marker pens. This is a gold one. It'll write on most surfaces. So if you run into someone really famous, or if I do, I've got this golden pen that'll write on any of my things so I can capture their autograph. Very useful, maybe, one day. Another one that's maybe a bit more unusual for protection is bubble wrap. If you're likely to buy some sort of models, figurines, something that's fragile, take some bubble wrap with you. I think some stands do provide um, tissue paper or maybe even bubble wrap if you're lucky, but you can't guarantee that. So if you're likely to buy that kind of thing, take some bubble wrap with you. An item that might not be relevant to you depending on what you do at conventions, but I always have some business cards with me. These are only half size ones. I use these if I video someone, I can pass them a card to prompt them to check out the video and also hopefully subscribe. If you're watching this and enjoying the video, you should subscribe as well. Do you cosplay? Are you ready for if there's a disaster? Something gets damaged or broken, torn? Will you be able to repair it? Bigger conventions will normally have a repair bays, but you can carry, I don't cosplay and I wouldn't take this with me, but this is my sewing kit. So take a sewing kit with you or a repair kit of some description so that you're ready for any unexpected issues or damages. This next item is dependent on what convention you're going to. Some conventions as you go in will stamp your hand, some will give you a wristband, some will give you a lanyard. Um, the most recent MCM, they were issuing lanyards but they were really cheap and tatty and I think this was basically so you'd spend 10 or 12 pound or whatever it was on one of their lanyards. So basically just take your own lanyard if you want to save a bit of money. We've spoken about things to take, how about stuff to leave, like a Switch, probably won't need this. If you really want to do some gaming, put a couple of apps on your phone, play those while you're queuing up for something. Unless it's part of your cosplay, you probably don't need some big earphones, tablets, again, do you really need this with you? Maybe you've got some videos on it that you want to show people if you're doing some networking, like films or animation or whatever. If it's relevant to you, take it, but all this extra stuff, you're gonna to have to carry around all day and you will feel tired and worn out. So be really ruthless with what you're taking. Ask yourself, do you honestly need that with you? If the answer is no, leave it behind. You'll know for next time if you did actually desperately need a switch with you. Why would you need that when you're at a convention? There's loads to do there. There's probably some switches there to play. And that's it. Take a bag, take a bottle, take some useful things with you. Write in the comments all the useful stuff that you take or things that I've missed that I should be taking. Help me out, help other people out. Read the comments below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you soon, explorers. Thank you so much for watching.